Being a college student can be a challenge within itself, add on the level of difficulty in being an athlete at the same time, and it takes an exceptional person. Three exceptional Texas Tech student athletes were honored this past Monday at the 2014 Texby Awards. Uh, it was great going out with the bang, I won a few awards. Actually, like, I came here late, I was in class, and, and right when I got here, they were calling my name out for an award, so I just feel blessed. This is great to be here. Though. Now they get it to Crockett. Not a bad move. Yeah, it's great to recognize, like, just as far as the students and being an athlete part, because it's a lot of uh, academic awards that are given out. So it kind of just gives people motivation to, you know, at the end of the year, you're going to be getting called out if you just work hard through the year. It just shows you that the stuff really pays off. It, it really was. It's such an honor. It's just a, a great privilege, one, to be a part of this university's athletic program, and two, to be able to represent all the student athletes there tonight. It was such a great privilege to be able to go up on stage in front of all of them. It's awesome to see these kids that work not only hard on the field or court or whatever their playing arena may be, but to see all to work in the classroom. You know, you want people to know that we are student athletes. It's a full-time job. We're, we're in and out. We're in our studies and in practice and workouts and everything. So we're, we're well-rounded students and to come out and see them recognize it, it's such a cool thing to see. I've, since I started, you know, going to school since I was little, school's always been um, really important in our family and just um, I've always learned that um, if you try hard in the classroom you'll have more opportunities you know um, for college um, and soccer would just be an additional like plus. Being a student athlete um, doing good in the classroom working hard um, really pays off and I know it's only going to help me in the future when I am done playing soccer because I don't soccer's not going to you know be here for the whole my whole life but my career will and so building the habits now in the classroom is, is what's going to take me through um, in my career, in my job, whatever I have to do um, to support myself when I'm older. I just want to extend a huge thank you for, to the Red Raider Club and all the support that they give us. Uh, without their encouragement and backing, we wouldn't be here today. I want to thank everyone on the Red, Red Raider Club. Y'all just give us opportunities that we never have the chance to get without you guys. And especially being athletes, we're so busy. and You guys put us in the position to better ourselves. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really do. Thank you. Well, now while Jay Crockett, Haley Hagsma, and Taylor Powell have only been known as soccer, basketball, and softball players, one of them could be a coach soon or possibly even a veterinarian. None of that for their road to those careers would be possible if it weren't for your help in the Red Raider Club. To find out more about how you can donate to the Red Raider Club, go online to www.redraiderclub.com. Your support, their efforts, our fearless champions.